Hey guys, my name is Rodrigo and in this video we'll be talking about ACDC's Luxia 6, which is probably the easiest video editing software out there for beginners. Let's get started! So the best way to showcase what Luxia can do and how easy it is to use is to begin editing a video. But before we get started, I just want to mention that Luxia comes with a video recorder. With unlimited screen recording time, it's perfect to record meetings or video tutorials like this one. If you want to follow along this tutorial, go ahead and download a free version of Luxia from our website. It has all the features of the full version and it only adds a small intro and outro clip to your final edit. And if you like the program, check out Luxia's pricing plans on our website. So right off the bat, this is how Luxia looks once you open it. Let's do a general overview of the different sections of this display and we will get into more details once we start editing an actual video. To the left, we have our menu tab with media, transitions, audio effects options, etc. Right next to it is the display of the specific tab we have selected on our menu, in this case, the media tab. To the right is the video preview window and next to it we'll see information about the clip we're handling and the effects we have applied to it. On the bottom, we have our timeline where we'll arrange all of our video, audio and effect clips and map out all of the edits we'd like to apply. First thing we want to do is to import our media. I've already downloaded a bunch of royalty free videos and audio clips that I want to use. Just select all of your files and click open. You'll see all of your media displayed right here. So let's dive right into it. What I'll try to do is some sort of intro for a TV show or a YouTube video about racing cars. If you double click on your media file, you'll open a preview of that clip and it'll look like this. So for this intro, I want to transition from detailed shots to more wide shots, open shots. This is a really great tip for video editing in general, to go from something like, like this motor right here onto a wider shot like this one, the transition from a close up to a wide shot has usually that really cool effect. So let's take a look. I really like this clip right here, so let's start with this one. All you have to do is click on it and drag onto your timeline. The program will ask you if you want to change the project settings to match the clip you're using. In most cases, you want to say yes, so that the dimensions and frame rate of the project are in line with your footage. There we go. Now we have our video on the timeline and you can see the cursor moving along with the video. Another thing that makes Luxia an incredible video editing software is that it allows you to choose a lower resolution for your preview. This is incredibly useful if, for example, you're editing a 4K footage and your computer struggles with playback. Like, you can be extreme and go to 116, which will make the preview very pixelated, but it'll run very smoothly. And don't worry, this doesn't mean that your final video will maintain this lower resolution, it'll just, it'll export in its original resolution. In this case, to have everything run smoothly, I'll edit um, in playback quality of a half, which is still really good quality for the preview and it'll ensure, you know, a very smooth kind of editing. So we have our full clip right here and I don't want to use all of it, of course. For example, the part I really want to use is when the guy moves his hand like this, right there. So what I can do is just hold my cursor there Go to the edge of the clip and you will see that your mouse will change into these arrows. So just drag it to the right to split the clip like this. That's what I want. So I want it until the guy makes this other movement. And to split the clip here I have two options. I can zoom out the view of our timeline so that I can drag the end of the clip until the point I want, like this. And another way I can do it is by going to the split icon or Ctrl Shift S. And as you can see, I have two clips on the timeline and I'll just delete this one with the delete key on my keyboard. I'll now drag the clip to the beginning right there. And let's see, this would be my initial shot. I might want to make this a bit faster. So what I can do is right click on the clip, which will display a bunch of options for the clip and then just click on add clip speed. Then on my window to the right, you'll see the effect added on the bottom. So this window allows you to edit the opacity, position, rotation options for your clip. You can also edit the blend mode of your clip. And if you're familiar with photography, blend modes allow you to combine multiple clips in different ways. We won't go into it for this tutorial, but let me know if you want to see a tutorial on it and I'll make it. So I want this clip to be faster, let's say around three times faster. 
So I'll just type three right here. And as you can see, my clip is now shorter. Now that's cool. That's more energetic and I like that. So let's go back to our media files. I could choose this shot, but maybe I want a closer shot. This is perfect. This is a really cool shot, but it's a bit slow. If I drag it down, let's see what happens. I'll place it right next to my other clip and let's see how that looks. That's great, but I do want to speed this clip up. I'll right click again and click speed and this time I want it a lot faster. So let's do eight times and see what happens. A good thing to know when you're editing videos is that most of the time you want to go back to the beginning of your timeline and play from the start. This way you can ensure that the overall feeling of your video is correct and it'll be easier to know when to cut or split a specific clip. It's almost like the cut point will be revealed to you by the overall experience of watching what you've already edited. So let's see how this looks. That's cool, that's perfect. So I want this clip a little shorter, let's drag it to the left like that, and now I want another shot that's a close-up before we go to a wider shot. This one right here is perfect. Let's drag the full clip onto our timeline, and as you can see if you drag it on top of the other clip, Luxia will automatically add more tracks. An amazing thing about Luxia is you can add infinite tracks, but for now let's just stick to this one. So let's try to find a place where I want this. I think right here, exactly when the pilot kind of grabs his helmet. That's where I want to start this clip. So I'll drag this to the right and see what happens there. And that's probably fine. Again, drag the rest of the clip, bring it to the left, and let's see how that looks. Cool. Maybe this could be even a little shorter. Let's try that. And now let's go ahead and open it up with a wider shot. I like this one, but maybe that's too wide. What about this one? That's cool. There's good movement. Let's just drag it onto the bottom and see how it looks. Nice. I like that. So maybe I'll split this one a little bit and I'll drag this to the left. And I want this clip to be longer compared to the first three shots. So I'll just split it like right there. I'll get rid of the rest and we have a pretty cool little sequence right here. I'm just going to add one more shot which is going to be a really wide shot, the widest of all shots. So this is cool. I'm going to move this to the top because I want to add some audio tracks later on. And remember, sound is crucial to make your videos feel alive. But before we add some audio, um, I think I might want to add a transition. So let's go back to the menu panel on the left and go to transitions. And I just want a classic fade from one clip to the other. And what you do is you just click on the effect, drag it onto the bottom, and you'll see that Luxia will tell you where the transition can be placed and I'll place it right there. Let's see how that looks. So that's cool, although it could be shorter, a lot shorter actually. And to make it shorter, just grab it on the edge like that and reduce its size. That's better. I want to add a text here because this is the intro to a YouTube video. So if I go to the menu here and I click on text, you'll see a bunch of styles displayed. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose the first one. Just drag and drop it on top of your footage. So whatever you have on top of another clip, that clip will be displayed on top of the bottom clip. Let's go ahead and title this Racing Cars. You can see how the title displays right there, but I do want to change how it looks. So right here on the right, you have your font selection. Maybe this one works. Yes, I like that. And we can make it bigger, of course. And to make it pop a little more, I think I'm going to add a little bit of shadow. So to do that, just click on the effects right here. It'll show you a bunch of options, but for now, I'll just go for shadow. I'll increase the blur, reduce the distance and opacity just to have it a little bit. And if you click and unclick the shadow option, you'll see the difference. Click OK and there you go. That's our title. 
that's cool. Although I'm not so sure about that transition anymore, so I'll go ahead and delete it. Select it and hit the delete button on your keyboard. I really wanna add more drama to the text, so a thing we can do is to go to filters, for example, and on filters, you'll see some really cool effects you can add to your clips. And I want this to have this sort of like jittery effect, that shakiness. So what if I add shake? You'll see your effect parameters to the right and let's see how that looks. That's not quite what I'm looking for. So I'll go ahead and delete the effect and I'll try the chromatic aberration. I love this effect. Let's reduce the degree, see how it looks in two. Still a bit too much. What if we just do one? Nice, I like that. So I don't want the text to appear right when the shot appears. So I'm just going to drag this a bit to the right and I'm gonna add a transition effect right in the beginning, in this case, fade. So that way my text fades in, yep. That's cool. And to finish it off, I'm gonna add a fade out at the end of the video. So here on the left, we can see the fade to black option. So I'm just gonna add it onto here, reduce the length of it. I'm gonna also add it onto the effect, reduce its length like that, and let's see how that looks. Awesome, I like that. So let's take a look at what we have so far. Okay, that shot is definitely too long for my taste, so I'm just gonna reduce its length. So what's missing? Of course, sound. Our video feels completely dead without sound, and we need that energy to portray our intro fully. So let's go back to our media. I've already downloaded the song I wanna use, royalty free of course. I'll just drag it down and see what happens. I like that. It really captures the energy of the video. Of course, the track is too long, so I'll just select where I want to end it and click on split. We'll delete the rest. And now we can select fit to screen right here so that we can see our timeline displayed fully. So as you can see, the end of the audio track needs to end smoothly. So a really cool thing is this line you see here. This is the volume line. So if you drag it down, you'll be reducing the general volume of the track to, in this case, 56%. That's 100%. Um, but you wanna do is a fade out. And to do that, you have two options. You can either right click and add an audio point, right click again and add another audio point, and then just drag this one to the bottom. This will create a nice smooth fade out. And what you can also do is simply go to the audio effects tab and you'll see the fade out option right there. Drag it down and place it on your clip. And that is a bit too long, but again, you can just move this audio point and bring it to where you want the song to start fading out. So I kind of want to add more stuff and a really amazing thing about Luxia that's going to help out a bunch of beginner video editors is that it incorporates really cool overlays. I want to add some light leaks. I'm sure you've seen light leaks on other videos and maybe we can add some here to increase the visual drama of our video. So again, just drag the effect, drop it on top of your last track and as you can see, it's a big one. We can just bring it back like that and let's see how that looks. That's really cool. I'm just gonna move it a little bit more to the right because I want the light leak to happen a little bit later. Let's see how that looks. Nice. It could be really cool if we add the same light leak in between these two clips to create some sort of transition. Let's try that. Hmm. Move it around so it fits better. Nice, I really like that. So we have our music, video clips, some titles, an overlay, and I have more audio to add to our composition. I want to add some ambient race car sounds. So I got this clip from freesounds.org, which is a great resource for royalty-free sounds. 
and if I wanted to only listen to our ambient sounds, I can disable the music track by clicking this eye icon here. So what could be really interesting is that I could add all of these motor sounds right into the transition point of our clips or where the cuts are. And that's another really important video editing tip is that whenever you have a cut, incorporating a sound during or right before the cut is a great way to make your cut feel smoother. So I'll just go ahead and split the auto clip to make the car sounds fit into the cut. Just focus on the waveform to know where those sounds are. And now I have my motor peaks right when the clip changes. Let's see if that works. Whoa, I like it. It's really subtle, but it definitely adds energy to the video. Last but not least, I have one more audio track. One of the most amazing things about Luxia again is that you can add infinite tracks to your project. Right now I have seven tracks and the program is behaving really nicely and I don't have the fastest computer. So I'm just gonna drag this sound down here. It's multiple cars accelerating and I'm gonna drag that to the left right when we see the entire speedway. A cool thing I can do is I wanna make the sound fading slowly. So again, I'm gonna add some audio points and make the fade. I think having this clip at 100% might be too much, so I'm gonna reduce it to 49. And of course I won't forget to add my fade out. Now let's see how it feels. I love it. So this is going to be my intro for the YouTube video. So before we export, I just wanna let you guys know that this is a basic guide to video editing and Luxia has a bunch more features that are gonna be really useful once you start your video editing journey. For example, in the advanced effects tab, you can find the option to replace certain colors of your videos. There's also the color pass effect. Um, you can add a mosaic square and there's also the chroma key effect if you are into using green screen or things like that. We actually have a tutorial on a green screen use, so you should definitely check that out. So now let's export our video. So to export the video, we just go up here and hit on produce and share. This will display the production assistant with multiple export options. You can choose between all these different templates according to the device you want your video to play in. And you can also directly upload to YouTube or Vimeo. But for now, I really want to save the video onto my computer, so I'll save it as an MP4 file. MP4 is one of the best formats for online video. And I'll make sure I'm exporting in the best quality possible. H.264 is actually the best encoder for MP4, and my resolution is correct here, 24 frames per second. And to get the best video quality, you should have your bitrate set up to at least 20,000 kilobytes. For a 10 second video, 20,000 is definitely enough. More than that would just give you a very big file size and not increase in overall video quality. For the audio, I'll stick to AAC, but I'll increase the bitrate so that I can get the best audio quality. 192 is good enough. And I can save this custom template. I'll name it High Quality MP4. And once you're ready, just hit the Produce button and Luxia will start exporting your video you'll see the little thumbnail right here with the export progress and you can activate a sound reminder in case you wanna go grab a cup of coffee or something. The sound reminder will let you know when the video is done exporting. So that's a wrap on our intro tutorial for Luxia. Remember you can download a free copy of Luxia from our website and if you like it, check out our pricing plans. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers!